Building custom guitars by hand is a challenge for any luthier, but for Stephen McSwain, working with exotic tonguers is only half the battle. For him, the other half is cutting, welding, colouring and ageing metals like aluminium. Then add in rivets and inlay in spent 44 Magnum cartridge cells. I love it. And he's coming in now all the way from the northwest of the USA up there in Portland, Oregon. Hello, Stephen, and welcome to the show. Hello, Lars. How are you, my friend? <laughs> As you said, from Portland, Oregon, I had to wear my, uh, you know, represent the state, so. <laughs> Anybody coming in now watching this, we have to explain this is behind the scenes of Stephen McSwain guitars. It's incredible. It's all very creative. What's the story behind the, um, the wall mounts? That kind of happened as a, a happy accident. Um, my wife was wanting a piece of art to go over our fireplace um, years ago, and I had done the, one of the first uh, American flag guitars out of metal. And so I was like, well, it's about the size of a flag, the space. So I did a two foot by four foot American flag with all the metal and the cast stars and things like that. And I took the guitar and laid it on top of it where it just matched perfectly and the light bulb above my head exploded. So I said, this would be a perfect way to display a guitar in a studio or home. And um, it just was kind of born that way. And it's funny, my, my uh, business partner, Steve Hall, uh, he, he affectionately termed it spouse approved. It's evolved over time, not just the flags, but I've found old reclaimed wood, you know, some barn wood and things like that. And then I'll put that onto the wall mount, cut out the shape of the guitar. So the guitar hangs there. It just looks like, you know, a guitar on barn wood. You take it off and there is the exact design on the wall mount. So it's either a flag or an oil can, or, you know, we've done some old distressed leather or, or I mean, it's, you know, the sky's the limit. So it just turns out to be a, a nice little add-on to, uh, to be able to display your guitar. Yeah, it's more than an add-on because I have seen them in the flesh and it's beautifully built like the guitars. And like you say, it's just the guitar just sinks in. It's very, very good. Now, you've got some cool guitar players in your artist list now, and rightly so, some are metal players. Yeah, you know, I've got had a ton of people through the years, like um, I've done stuff for George Lynch uh, via uh, ESP, and uh, we became buddies over the years. And um, gosh, John Five had me modify one of his Telecasters, um, of course, Slash. Um, but one of the ones that is, I've heard uh, secondhand information um, from my friend Alan Rosen at um, uh, Bananas at Large in San Rafael and um, San Anselmo, uh, California. He had a couple of the uh, flag and wall mount guitars. He had a black flag guitar, and Kirk Hammett wanted to see him. So he took him to Metallica HQ uh, before a rehearsal, and James was there, and Kirk showed up a little later. James saw him, he's like, what's that? So he ends up buying both the uh, red, white, and bullets with the wall mount and the black flag uh, and has them hanging in his house in Colorado from what uh, Alan tells me and, and kind of... Uh, uh, scooped them out from under Kirk. So, Kirk, if you know this, just give me a call. I'll make you some too. <laughs> Meantime, keep chopping up all those old aeroplanes for the aluminum. Thanks, Lars. <laughs>